Hey everyone, Stuart with Franklin Hill Ventures. Today I'm going to show you how I use List Perfectly uh, to list books. Uh, specifically, I use List Perfectly templates, and this will give you an idea of one way that List Perfectly can be utilized. Anyway, hope you enjoy. All right, I've already got my photographs taken of the book. The book I'm going to be listing is this Cobb County, Georgia book. And just a side note, if you do find history books of local communities, cities, towns, counties, anything like that, I've found they sell very well. I picked this up at a thrift shop, so we'll go ahead and get this listed. So I'm in my List Perfectly catalog, as you can see here, and I'll go ahead and click the Add Listing button. And then what I've done is I've created a couple of templates related to books. So I have one that's Book No Dust Jacket and then book with dust jacket. So this one does have a dust jacket. So we'll go ahead and use this template. And I've already uploaded the pictures to my computer. So we'll go ahead and add these. And they are in this folder here. We'll select all those and let them come in. And then we'll go ahead and do the editing. So I'll typically crop these. Confirm crop, up the brightness a little bit, and then I could remove the background. I'll go ahead and remove the background. So if you have the professional version of List Perfectly, it does have a photo room built in. You can do background removals. So now we'll go ahead and save this, and then just go through the other photographs here real quickly. Crop. And the only one I use the photo uh, room on is the first picture. I know some people may do all of them. I think the rest of these are okay. Uh, this is a signed copy here. So now we'll go ahead and we start with the listing title once we get our picture. So book with dust jacket, this would be the title of the book. So we're gonna say uh, County Georgia. And the origins of the, I may have to shorten this because we'll see how many characters. It's going to be quite a few. And this is by Thomas Hutt. And we'll delete all this other stuff out and see what that gets us down to. But it does get us down to. Uh, under 80, so we'll probably just leave it at that. Normally, I would put, you know, this is a first edition. I would put the year it was published, but really with this book title, all I can get is that and the author, and that's fine. The other information will be in the description and then some of the tags. So let's start with the brand. For brand, I always use the publisher, and this was published by um, Cobb Landmarks and Historical Society. And everything else, I pretty much leave the same for a book. I don't ever use color or style or features or anything. And then we'll go ahead and start filling in the stuff here. So the title goes inside the quotes. And keep in mind that this is just one way to do this. Uh, there's you know, many ways to do listing flows with this perfectly, which is one of the things that makes it such a good tool, you know, in a in addition to just being a great tool to get things cross-listed and then manage those listings and get them delisted, um, you know, it also is flexible enough to handle many different listing flows. Of course, I picked a book here to show that's got a title that is very long. Most of them are not that long. So, I'm Thomas Allen Scott. I believe this one is from 2001. Let me just double check that real quick. And this one is 2003, actually. So it is from 2003. It was published by. So I'm basically just going through and replacing things that are in my uh, template. And you could make your template even more generic. Uh, you know, like say, just put title goes here, author goes here. Uh, for me, this works fine though. 
it just gives me the list and flow you know to follow and then this one's got a lot of pages let's see how many it has has well 938 pages let's change this and then we'll measure the book let me grab my ruler this one is nine and a half by six and a quarter nine and a half by one quarter and this is the first edition That's the original death jacket it is also so that's good enough for my description. And normally, you know, it would go a little quicker in this as some, uh, you know, not talking while I'm doing it. So then um, for the condition, and this is, you know, this will carry over to the condition section eBay. And then I like a new thing that lists perfectly just added is this will also go into the short description uh, when you go to post it. So I used to like put that in both places. Uh, but now you don't have to do that. So somewhere to the desk jacket, including a few minor pairs. No rips or tears to pages noted. I am going to say there is some cover page that appears to be painted. So that's good enough for the condition. Um, and then I don't currently use pro description. I know a lot of people do, uh, but I just put everything, you know, in the description here. So then we'll go to keywords. Uh, we'll put our cost of goods sold in first. This is actually 87 cents. And we're going to put a price of uh, $16 on this. And then the SKU is going to be my, um, my bin that it's in and that's CPM. That just corresponds to some uh, cubes over here to my left that you can't see, but uh, I've got cubes there, they're labeled, and I call those desk, and CPM means it's cross-posted. Uh, so then we will put that in, then we'll fill in our keywords, and some of these we can keep, but so we'll put Georgia, we'll put urban South, Dust cover with the first edition. We can pick and that should be good for keyword. The only other thing, if you put the MSRP of zero when you post it to Poshmark, uh, that will bring. Uh, fill in the original price field for you. So, and that's all I'm filling on that section. Then your shipping. This book weighs three pounds, 10 ounces. I had a pound, and that always gets me in the ballpark or 99% of the time of the final. Uh, this is going to take a 12 by 10 by 8 box. And then everything else should be good because it doesn't have any inventory items yet since it was a template. So we'll go ahead and save and exit the catalog. So normally that takes me, you know, pictures and everything. Maybe uh, when the title's not that long, it usually takes me maybe a minute or two. Uh, but it did take a little longer that time due to the length of the title and the fact that uh, I was talking while I was doing it. But now we have it into the List Perfectly catalog, so we're ready to start cross-posting this or listing it out to the market folks. The way I do this, and once again, there's many ways to use this perfectly to do this, and every, I won't say everybody, but, you know, people do it different ways. So uh, what I do is I click on the title, and that's going to open up this screen here. And, you know, here's my pictures. Here's all the information I entered. And this is what's going to be copied into the description. Now, I go ahead and take this out because I don't, Pers just me personally, I don't like it in there. So I always delete that before I start clicking on the marketplaces. And then we'll just click on each marketplace that we want to. 
the times we'll start with Mafari. Then we will go to Poshmark. Then we will go to eBay. And since this is a uh, book that's, well, you know what? I can't put it on Etsy because it's not prior to 2002. So we won't put this one on Etsy, uh, but we'll put it on Facebook Marketplace and we'll put it on Depop. And then I will go ahead and put this one on Instagram as well. So now I have it on all the marketplaces that I can cross post it to. The only other one that I would typically do would be Etsy, but it does have to be vintage. And since this misses it by two years, we'll leave it off. So we'll go ahead and start with Macari. Now this part goes pretty quick, uh, especially for some of the marketplaces. Macari is one of the fastest ones. I just start here and tab through. It's great that Macari now allows 80 characters, so you're not trying to scrunch everything down to 40. So we'll go ahead and click suggested categories. And of course it didn't even come up with books this time, but I know from listing a lot of books that that is going to be under other books. And then we'll call this one history. So normally it would suggest that, but it didn't in this case. This is going to be a no brand, not sure. And Macari really doesn't have a huge brand list of anything other than major brands. I call almost everything good, you know, unless it's either unless it's completely new or if it's just in horrible condition. So we'll leave that good. No color ships from now since i'm going to ship this media mail anytime i do media mail or first class i do free shipping everything else i do calculated shipping on and we'll let macari ship it but in this case i'm just going to ship on my own and i either use pirate ship or uh, paypal shipping to create my labels so we will ship on our own we'll leave it at 16. i always turn off smart pricing uh, people can send offers on macari but i don't want my price to automatically decrease but then we'll list that so that'll take care of Macari. And you know, normally that goes really quick. Uh, and we'll go ahead and close that. Now, Poshmark. This is kind of like a coffee table book. So that's the category I'm going to put it on. Oh, and then one one day Poshmark may get with the program and add longer titles. Poshmark, if you're listening. Uh, but we do need to uh, shorten this up. And I could have done that in the list perfectly catalog and put a special title in just for Poshmark. But we're just going to say Cobb County, Georgia. We'll just say 20th century history. And that's about all we can get. So that's good enough. We have everything else in the description. So then our category is going to be home. And I believe it's under office. No. Back. It's under home, accents, coffee table books. Weird how uh, Poshmark does their book category. They don't really have any other book category, but there's a ton of people who list books, including me. So now we'll do just size as one size for that. And then we're not going to put any colors. Everything else should be filled in. So now at this point, I can just click next. And then I go ahead and advertise it to Pinterest and Twitter. And I don't do Facebook because it gets put on Facebook when I post it to Instagram. Uh, so that happens automatically. Sometimes I'll go through here and share a few listings, uh, you know, before I jump to the next platform, but I'm not going to do that right now. So we'll go ahead and close Poshmark. Now, eBay, this one typically takes the longest just because you do have specifics you have, have to fill in. So we'll go ahead and pick my store category, which this is going to be books, nonfiction, and then the ISBN. Grab that off the book here. It's going to be zero nine seven. Four, three, six, four, six, zero, six. And maybe list perfectly, we'll get a, a spot for ISBN. They have one for UPC, but that would not pull into the ISBN uh, box. So now what I'll need to do, this is where, you know, if you put an ISBN or UPC in and tab off, it's going to go out and look for a product. And what we need to do is recopy. Notice it deleted out my custom label, probably cleared some other things. So we'll go ahead and say recopy. And while it's doing that, we'll just jump to the next marketplace. And then we'll come back to eBay. So Facebook Marketplace, we'll pick category of books. And then once you pick the category, everything else fills in. And we will change the condition. Just like on Macari, I use, use good for almost everything on Facebook Marketplace. Everything here should be good. My book genre is going to be nonfiction history here. 
and I don't ever fill in an H group. We'll go to next. And then just like on Macari, whenever I am shipping first class or media mail, I will do my own shipping. So I am going to change this to Utron shipping label. And we'll just put in a zero for shipping rate, turn on free shipping for buyers. And we'll go to next. And I typically will let people make offers and that's good, 13, 16. It cost me 79 cents. It's going to cost about four dollars or so to ship at media mail. So, you know, I'll still make decent profit for a book. So we'll go ahead and say next, and then we will go ahead and publish this. Now, one thing I'll note about Facebook, and many of you have probably run into this if you post to Facebook, is sometimes it does not bring the item number over into the list perfectly catalog. For that reason, I do not close the Facebook window until after I've you know, gone back to the catalog and make sure that it is there. So we'll leave that open. We'll go ahead and go to Depop. And Depop's real quick. You just go to Books and Magazines. Not Facebook. Sorry. Books and Magazines. Uh, there's no, if you're selling art goods or anything other than clothing, the brand's never there in Depop. So I always leave it blank. Like everything else, condition it's used good. Don't select a color. Uh, this is just pre-loved. It's not vintage. Most things I sell are vintage, and I would pick vintage and pre-loved and then pick the age, but we're going to put modern. And then offer free shipping and post. So now we are on Depop as well. Instagram is the last one here. So I do make a few changes to what it says. I will sell directly on Instagram if somebody wants to buy it from there. So I will put in whether it's, you know, plus shipping or with free shipping. Uh, the other thing is I take out this blurb on see pictures for further condition because there's only one picture in Instagram. Uh, so, you know, and then down here, this message that gets added for Instagram listings, it, it asks, tells people to DM me for additional pictures. We'll take out that one space there then I usually just leave three dots and then we'll go ahead and share this so now it should be on every platform but eBay so we'll go back to eBay real quick so we'll close that go back over here to eBay and condition we'll say good and then it brings in the condition description everything here looks good I don't ever pay for large photos in the results. You know, I only use that if it's free, so I'm not going to check that. Uh, so we need to put the author in, and this is the part that takes probably the most time. So uh, that author was Thomas Allen Scott. And the book title, and I'm just going to copy it from down here, actually, since it's so long. Copy that to the clipboard, come back up here. And then put it in the wrong field, title field, tab off in language English. Now that's all that's required. You know, you don't have to put recommended. I'll go ahead and do the ones that are quick and easy. So hardcover. Uh, I'll usually see if there's like a a uh, topic of history, yeah, historical history. So we'll pick that out for. The topic, there's not a book series. The publisher's actually not Scott. It is Cobb uh, Landmarks and Historical Society. So we'll copy that, paste that. And then genres history publication year was 2003. And really that's probably good enough. It's not manufactured in Georgia. I think it was manufactured in the United States. Um, by that and then that should be the last thing we have to uh, pick yet yeah, printed in the United States of America the United States and then we can put first edition and dust jacket for feature so that should be everything so you know normally I'm able to go through that pretty quick uh, when I'm not talking uh, everything down here should be good the price should be good as we go on down, I do free returns on everything. I know different people do different things on that. So you would mark that however you handle returns. It is going to be flat, same cost all buyers. I need to just change this from first class to media mail. eBay does remember the last shipping settings you had in your previous listing you did. So you do sometimes have to change that. I always offer local pickup. 
And then I always sell using eBay International Standard Delivery as my international shipping option. I do not use GSP. And then it brought in all the package weight dimensions, so that's good. Now here's another thing, you know, this, everybody does this different. I know some people post at 1%, some people, you know, don't promote or promote at 1%. Some people don't promote at all. I do promote everything actually at the suggested amount. And then I round up, round up to the next half percent. Uh, you know, maybe I'm throwing money away, but it worked very well for me. Uh, I sell a lot of stuff. So uh, I'm going to continue to do that for now. And there's not a, volume discount since it's only one item so then I'm going to list that and then as soon as that post we can go in and close the eBay window go back to our catalog and make sure that Facebook came in so so we go back here and then we just go to listings my listings and let's see if it shows everything one two three four five six yep we don't have Etsy normally I would have seven that's what I'm looking for uh, but uh, since we didn't do Etsy, there's just six. Facebook didn't come across, so we can close that window, and that should be it. The only other thing, and I'm not going to show it for this one, I would normally post this book on Amazon as well, so I would go over here to my Amazon window and go to inventory, add a product, and put in the ISBN number and find it and, you know, upload some pictures and sell that. Uh, for now, I'm not going to put this one on Amazon. Uh, but, you know, it is something that I will do for uh, for most books that I sell. So anyway, hope this has been helpful and uh, we will see you next time. I hope everyone found that uh, helpful and enjoyable. Uh, if you have not yet started using this perfectly and want to try it out, you can use code FHV for 30% off your first month. Or if you're already using this perfectly and want to upgrade to a uh, different version. I know I used the professional version and it was really a game changer. But in any case, you can also use that code to upgrade. And uh, please, uh, if you like this video, click the thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Also check out uh, all my social media sites as well as the platforms I sell on by going to www.franklinhillventures.com uh, as shown on the sign behind me here. And once again, I appreciate everybody stopping by and we will see you next time.